up your YouTube, search for Stupid Meadows, watch on your big screen. Or another device if you're at home. Get yourself comfy, this could take a while. What a happy scene. Something new every day for your long term memory. This is so exciting, it is nearly time for a stupidly assembly. Oh, hello everyone. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or good night, and welcome to our Wednesday reading assembly. For each other, we. Every day, we. To improve, we. Together, we will. Every single Stukely day we focus on. Our Stukely motto is. Our Stukely curriculum is. Our Stukely plan for home learning is. Four words that make the magic happen. Yes, they do. If Harry Styles can talk about kindness, then so can we. Right. I'm not actually going to start a book in assembly today. Mr. Watley is going to read a story. And do you know what? I'd love it if you're in year two, three, four, five, six, and you have a listen to Mr. Watley. It's a good book. Anyway, I'm not reading a story, but I have got some big messages to give you. We're going to start off with an author warm up. We haven't done this for ages. We're going to play a great game, Dahl Dickens, and it doesn't involve chickens. That's the game. Over here, you'll see lots of bits on the board. I'm now going to cover it up and they're all going to disappear. There you go. Hey, clever. Anyway, here's how the game's going to work. Um, you pause the video in a moment. Now, you can do this on your own. I would do it as a class. Just rattle through it. As a class, you need to think of as many facts as much knowledge as you can about Dickens and Dahl I'm not interested in the chickens as much as you know about Dickens and Dahl can you as a class remember everything that I've got in my hand don't forget book titles don't forget facts about their lives come on pause the video think of as much as you can then see if you're right right starting up everyone I'm hoping that some of you got 1916, that's the year that Roald Dahl was born. I'm also hoping that some of you got the crow. What was the crow's name? Was it a crow? No, it wasn't. It was a raven. Got you there, called Grip. That was Dickens Raven. I hope somebody got that. I wonder if you got some of the weird words that Dahl made up, frumpet, grunion, and Pibbly. I mean, they're absolutely brilliant. Um, did anybody get a uh, World War Two? Roald Dahl fought in World War Two. He was a pilot. I'm really hoping that some of you got that. I wonder if anybody got that Dickens had ten children. Did you get that? Yeah, they all. He gave them all really strange names. Um, did anybody get that Dickens always slept and wrote facing north? I hope that somebody got that. We learnt about that lots. Oh, here we have some books. Hmm. I think we've got SEO Trot, George's Marvellous Medicine and Boy. You might have gotten loads more Roald Dahl books. I hope you did. Oh, what's this next one? <gasps> Roald Dahl lost the end of his nose in a car accident. Managed to get it back though. Yeah, he did. Um, what's this? Oh, yes. Here are some Dickens words. Butterfingers, the creeps and flummoxed. They're all words that we use nowadays, came from Charles Dickens. Oh, 1812. That's got to be Dickens' birth. Did you get that? I hope you did. Oh, here are some Dickens books. Oliver Twist, Great Expectations, David Copperfield. Did you get any more? Christmas Carol, Old Curiosity Shop, Tale of Two Cities. Um, there we go, Writing Shed. That belonged to Roald Dahl. Yes, it did. Right, let's move that over here. Okay, now, before you hear Mr. Watley's story in today's reading assembly, I need to talk to you about three things. Um, first of all, Saturday is the Fossum Summer Fate. It's the first fate we've had in three years. 
there is going to be loads there. Music. I'm on the music. I'm on the mic. Yeah, it's going to be great. There's going to be food and drink galore for grown-ups and children. There's going to be games to play. There's going to be craft stalls. There's going to be things where you decorate your face and your nails. There's going to be loads more games. There's going to be bouncy things. There's going to be football. Uh, might even might even start a couple of games on Molka up. Uh, I mean, I might do that. I'd be rude not to. Um, there's going to be visitors coming in. There's going to be stuff going on in the arena. There's going to be pet agility. There's going to be ice cream. There's going to be so much going on. On Saturday, starts at 10 o'clock. I hope to see lots of you there. Let's have a great time and raise money for the school. That's the first thing I want to say. The second thing I want to talk about are pads. We've talked about pads lots of times. Pads are good manners. Please and thank yous. Apologise without being told. Door etiquette, open a door, hold a door, let somebody through the door first. And um, salutations, say good morning, say good afternoon, ask somebody how they are, ask about their afternoon, wish them a good day, come on. Anyway, we talked about pads. Could I just say Harry S in year six is unbelievable at his pads. You ask any adult in year six, they'll say he's brilliant. I hope he's smiling right now. I love it when I hear that, I love it. Anyway, um, I need to add a couple more bits to pads. I don't know about the letters. N n number, n the next one, the next thing. Putting books away in the AR library. There are some children in this school that don't seem to care about putting a book back on the shelf. They leave books on the floor. They leave books on the top. They leave books upside down. They leave books flat on the shelf. Please put the book back. If the book won't fit, find a space where it will fit or put it on one of the piles above the shelves. There is no reason for anybody to leave books out. It's rude and somebody else has to work hard for it. Here's a picture. Okay, you can see there, there's a few books not in the right place. Who is doing that? Why are we doing this? Get the books back in and stop making other people work harder, please. So number one, come to the summer fate. Number two, put books back. Number three, I think we need to talk about manners in the dinner hall. Noise is one thing. Some children, it's mainly boys and mainly, I'm sorry, in year four, five. Lots and lots of big noise that's not necessary. Not all the boys in year four, five, some. Anyway, lots of noise, but worse still, there are some children that have got food in their mouth and they're opening their mouth when they eat. Please try and keep your mouth closed. We haven't ever talked about this really, but now's the time to. And also there are people with food in their mouth and they're talking. And when you talk, bits of food come out. It's not nice. So if you've got food in your mouth, eat it slowly. Keep your mouth closed, don't talk. Please, please do that. It's a simple, simple rule that you can follow. Anyway, three quick reminders there. Summer fate, books, eating behaviours. You're now going to watch Mr. Watley's story. Enjoy. I'll see you on the other side going straight into birthdays. Yes, I will. Hello, everybody. It's Mr. Watley again. I'm here with another story. It's quite a funny one this week. It's one that my boys both like. And some of you might know it already. It's called No Bot, the robot with no bottom. That's by Sue Hendrew, who some of you might remember did things like... Um, uh, buried a fish with fingers and there's a few other th ones that she did so no bot here we go the circuit board inside and here's no bot bernard the robot loved to play at the park Whee! he swung high 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 up into the sky soon it was time to go bernard jumped off the swing and headed home. Eek. He'd only walked a little way when... My bottom! cried Bernard. It's disappeared! Where can it be? Bernard went back to the park to look, but he couldn't see his bottom anywhere. Excuse me, monkey, he said. Have you seen my bottom? Hmm, said monkey. I think I might have. Bird is using it. Come and see. Hello, bird, said monkey. Have you still got bird? Oh, I used the wrong voice. Hello, bird, said monkey. Have you still got Bernard's bottom? Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom, said bird. It was too heavy to be a nest. 
so I gave it to Bear to use as his drum kit. Let's go back and get it. Excuse me, Bear, have you been drumming on my bottom? asked Bernard. Oops, Bernard, was that your bottom? said Bear. It made a funny noise, so I couldn't use it. I don't know where it is now. Oh, said Bernard. Don't worry, your bottom's got to be somewhere, said his friends kindly. Look, there it is, said Monkey. That's just Gary's hat, said Bernard. There, said Bird. That's just Edward's shopping basket, said Bernard. Is that it? No, that's just Dog's window box. Bernard was sad. I'll never get my bottom back, he sobbed. Come and sit down, said his friends, and we'll think where to look next. I can't sit down, said Bernard. I haven't got a bottom. I'm not a robot. I'm a no-bot. After a while, he arrived at the beach. He looked out to sea and saw something very familiar. There it was. Come back, he shouted. Come back here. You've got my bottom. But the rabbits couldn't hear him. Bernard jumped and waved, but it was no good. Then, as he turned away, he spotted a strange-shaped sandcastle. He had found his bottom. Bernard was so happy to have his bottom back, he did a wiggling, jiggling dance, and so did all of his friends. And Bernard never lost his bottom again. Ah, what's he lost this time? His arm. Oh no. And there we go. That's the end of the book. I hope you enjoyed it. I told you it was a good one, didn't I? So that was called No Bot, The Robot With No Bottom. And I shall hopefully be back next week with another book for you. Until then, take care. Bye bye. Whoops. Sorry, I said we were going straight into birthdays, but we're not. We've got a nostalgic CBSOS. Here it is. Will they get a cheer or will they get a boo? With either one there must not be violence. They may well get a song, but it will not last that long. We really hope they do not get silence. I know what you're waiting for, it's cheer, boo, song or silence. Behind that curtain is Mrs Campbell. She's very excited about this moment because she knows her family are watching. But will she get a cheer, a boo, a song or silence? We know that she works with Mrs Clark up in year six and Mrs Clark got silence and she still hasn't spoken to me since. So, good luck, Mrs. Campbell. What do we think is gonna happen? Is it gonna be cheer, boo, song, or silence? Okay, let's find out. Out you, whoa, 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 Mrs. Campbell. You sneak back there, I know you've got a home to go to. Hang on. Out you come, Mrs. What a start to assembly. Will they get a cheer or will they get a boo? With either one there must not be violence. They may well get a song but it will not last that long. We really hope they do not get silence. Oh, loved it. There will be some new ones soon, I promise there will be. Uh, now it's birthdays. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. Hey, 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 it's time to say we've got a stupid birthday. <laughs> oh, come on!
Leah in year six, happy birthday. Hope you're having a great day with friends. Sure there'll be some family celebrations too. Let's finish with EDK. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. And we are learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Learning to remember things worth remembering. Everyday knowledge for you. everyone it's gonna start off with the right royal model muddle 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 here are the last six kings and queens of great britain of the uk here are the last six kings and queens they're not in order um you don't need to pause you don't need to pause the video but i'm now just going to hang out here while you try and work out the order they go in who is the king or queen at the moment who came before them before them before them before them now there are six here I've definitely told you about four of them. I've mentioned the fifth one, and then you can work out the one that comes before all of them. Yes, you can. Anyway, have a go. I'm just gonna stand here and just whoo, have a little dance, have a little, have a little drink. Mm, that's beautiful, bit of lemonade. How you doing, all right? Yeah, come on, you got this. Okay, we haven't got time now, so I'm now gonna put them into order. Boom, here we go. Right, so as you know, we've currently got Queen Elizabeth II. Before her, it was our father, King George VI. Before George VI, it was Edward VIII. Before Edward VIII, it was King Edward the, um, George V. It was George V. Before George V, it was King Edward VII. And before King Edward VII, who you've just seen a picture of, it was Queen Victoria one of our more famous queens, or one of our more famous monarchs. Okay, that's the order they're in. We're gonna forget that for a bit, come back to it. Right, now playing a great game called, here's the flag, what's the capital city? I do not want the country, I want the capital. Tricky, eh? Right, first of all, here's the flag, what's the capital city? Uh, it's Luxembourg City is the capital, country's Luxembourg. Okay, here's the flag. What's the capital city? The capital city is Stockholm, the country Sweden. Here's the flag. What's the capital city? The capital city is Budapest. The cap country is Hungary. Here's the flag. What's the capital city? The capital city is France. The country's Paris. What's the capital city? Copenhagen is the capital city. The country is Denmark. What is the capital city? Malka, 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 Malka. Love it. The capital city is Helsinki. Finland is the country. What's the capital city? Oh my goodness, great at me. London is the capital. England is the country. What's the capital city? I had to do a little check there. The capital city is Brussels. The country is Belgium, not Germany. What's the capital city? Lisbon, the country is Portugal. We're gonna do one more. What is the capital city? Berlin, the country's Germany. Oh, brilliant. Oh, hang on a sec. Any idea what element that is from the periodic table? Mercury, that one's for you, Emily. You requested that one, love it. We'll have one more. What is the element there? Zinc, congratulations. Really quickly, let's do days of the week backwards. Sunday, Saturday, Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, Monday, done.